For joining us for the News at 8, I'm Matt Lorch. And I'm Jamie Tompkins. This is a jam-packed weekend in Seattle. We have Bumbershoot and PAX, and thousands of people are expected to turn out. The party kicked off this morning, runs through Monday, but as thousands of gamers come to downtown, it has some questioning the safety of these huge events. Let's go to AJ Janivel, who's live with a closer look. Hey Matt, I'm right outside of Bumper Shoe. People are making their way into the festival. The headliner is going on around 9.30. That's Tyler, the creator, and a lot of these people are going in. They're excited to see the show. They're focused on the music, but I got a chance to speak with law enforcement. They are focused on safety this weekend because it's not just bumper shoot here with tens of thousands of folks in Seattle, but it's also packs that's going on right up the street. So what police say they're going to be doing is having extra officers out at both events. Now, some of these officers you're going to be able to see they're going to be in their uniform and law enforcement tell me they want that to happen. They want the folks out to see that presence. There will also be some officers out in plain clothes. Law enforcement tells me the reason is if anything does happen, those officers can act fast. I got a chance to talk to Detective Patrick Michaud with Seattle Police. He says these officers in some cases will be working overtime, but for them, these two events are just as important as they are to the people that are going to them. When we have events like PAX and like Bumbershoot, we take that extremely seriously because without people being safe, these events can't happen here in Seattle. And the reason people continue to come to Seattle is because they can feel safe going to an event like that. That big focus on safety here with these two events coming up a little later at 9. I'm speaking to some of the folks that are going to these events and finding out why that extra police presence is also important to them. Reporting live here in Seattle, I'm AJ Janivel for Q13 News.